Crazies, you're in the lab. It's Lee in the white tee, looking all bad and rad and just relaxed today. And you saw that title too as well. We're doing a compilation of uh, what, what conspiracy theories do you believe in, kind of a TikTok thing, because I just wanted to do this to kind of get your mind in a rabbit hole because we are going to start jumping down some rabbit holes too in this channel. And I'm looking forward to that. With that, I also want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for the thousand plus subscribers y'all have done, man. Y'all are amazing. Each and every one of you are this channel. You would make it what it is. The comments in there is amazing. It is just a wonderful, wonderful community to be a part of. And thank you for the love and support. And thank you for getting us to a thousand plus. It is just amazing. Let's blow up. Let's get that 25,000. Let's get me a freaking play button. That looks forward to it too as well. But I wanted to say thank you, so cheers on that. Uh, and kind of let you know what I watch on YouTube. I watch a whole bunch of crazy shit on YouTube, and lately has been kind of these TikTok conspiracy theories kind of stuff and shit you didn't know. So I thought today as we kind of start this whole new process of jumping down rabbit holes and conspiracy theories just to get our minds working and waking up into this reality we live in, and what better way to do it than listen to some and kind of react to some. So let's enjoy this. You know, conspiracy theories you believe is true TikTok edition. Sit back and relax and enjoy y'all as we shoot yours and puffs. What's a conspiracy theory that you a thousand percent believe in? I'll go first. I 100% believe that there is a cure to every major disease, Agreed. cancer, diabetes, Agreed. everything. Definitely agree but on that. the more people that die, the more money that companies can make. Unfortunately, a money-making thing like that doctor that died. I believe that Charles Lindbergh himself cancer. is responsible for the kidnapping of his own baby in 1932. Now, Lindbergh was not the hero that history has made him out to be. He was a literal Nazi. Yeah. He was the face of the eugenics him movement. Something we didn't know about him kid? until 2000 was that he procreated oh, yeah. with German women and had seven secret children as part of the eugenics movement's attempt to create the perfect yes, child. And Charles Lindbergh Jr. wasn't perfect. He was born disabled and it was really easy to hide when he was a baby, but as he was getting older and he wasn't walking and wasn't talking and wasn't hitting his milestones and doing the things he should be doing, it became obvious that something was wrong. There are those who believe that Charles Lindbergh had the baby kidnapped and was attempting to have him institutionalized to hide the fact that he was disabled, which would also mean that Charles Wasn't was that not perfect the specimen. perfect specimen, like for part two. Ooh. Part two. So the theory is Charles Lindbergh is a Nazi and he is supposed to be the perfect male specimen and he can't have people knowing that he's got a disabled son. So he made a plan to have baby Lindbergh kidnapped from the home. He was going to have him whisked away to some institution somewhere, raised anonymously, so that no one would ever find out that he they had a disabled child, too. thus meaning that he was not, in fact the perfect man um something obviously went wrong there was that broken rung on the ladder so there are two theories one is that you know something went wrong with <coughs> kidnapping the baby and he died accidentally and then it had to be covered up as a kidnapping slash murder the other theory is that he actually did get his baby away and institutionalized and that the body that was found months later that was unidentifiable but charles identified anyway wasn't actually the Lindbergh baby. So whose kid was What it? do you think? I wonder whose kid he picked up and found and undug. That's some okay, crazy hear shit. me out. It sounds weird. Mattress Firm is laundering money or doing something super, super sketchy. All day long. Mattress Firm likes to cluster their stores together. Just look. This is in my hometown. All day long. These are not even a minute Agreed. apart from each other. There's three of them on Agreed. the same road. They're same so city, same thing. And yes. Example again. Outside of my city, this is in Texas, there are ten four of them on the same road. House. I don't know how spread out these are, but ten. And I've she lives in the villages, and I think they got like three of them right there. there like all in the census, they got three of them. That much of a need for mattresses. The weird need. thing too, and you'll just have to take my word on this, when you drive past a mattress firm, there's never cars in the parking lot. And if there is, there's like maybe one never maybe how many one. times have you changed your mattress? Website says there's twenty five hundred stores but, across but America maybe and about eighty five hundred employees. That means there should be at least three people working a store. On top of that, they've disclosed accounting irregularities. Oh my God, I could talk about this all day. God dang. Inside trade and ship. 
Mobsters. Actually, I'll go first. And what I will say is that you can't convince me that last year it wasn't the police officers, the government, either setting off those fireworks every single fucking day for like three months or supplying teenagers with the fireworks for the low it's price true. of zero dollars so they could set them true. off every single day for almost three months. I literally did not sleep. We had From the end of store, June to the beginning of August, there were area. fireworks every single night in my neighborhood. For a, and they started at 7 when the sun was still out, and they would go until fucking 9 p.m. You want me to believe teenagers have that money do. on their own, and that's what they would choose to do? No. <laughs> they were trying to break me, and they almost did because there was racial unrest. I wanted to quit my job, and I couldn't sleep. That's kind of like a, a they conspiracy almost got me. theory. Of they mm-hmm. just ambulance just turn on their sirens. They're supposed to ride with their sirens and put fear exactly into us. Never heard of that one before. Per se, but... I am a thousand percent convinced that we are not supposed to eat corn. Cows have four stomachs. Just had some corn today. They can't digest corn. You go to Chipotle, you get corn salsa. You go to the bathroom, you see corn salsa. High fructose corn syrup is processed and put in pretty much everything to make it so highly true. sugary and highly addictive. Any animal that you give Sugar corn to, more they go crazy cocaine. for it and become addicted to it. Corn know. can be processed into a fuel, and it burns pretty efficiently. Yet we eat it, and I still don't know why. The conspiracy there: Should we eat corn or not? What's a conspiracy theory that you a thousand percent believe in? I'll go first. That Area Fifty One isn't where we think it is. It's actually a little bit closer to home. So I believe I've heard this we are Area Fifty One, and that military base in the middle of the desert that no one can go. The one where you can get shot on sight. Is the exit? Why do you think they shoot you on sight? Because they don't. That's our way home. To leave. Mm-hmm. Actually, I, I could believe that too. A little What's trip a conspiracy on the way home? theory that you a thousand percent believe in? This is probably going to get taken down, so let me get right to it. I'm not just coming right out and saying that the military puts batteries instead of birds. All I'm saying is that if they did, this is probably where they would keep. Now, have you heard this theory of? the birds aren't real <clears throat> i don't know if if you've seen this documentary or even heard about this theory that the birds are not real they're military drones trying to keep an eye on us this is exactly the crazy thing about this one it is exactly what this one's about and it, 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 it's weird let me restart it for you get taken down so let me get right to it i'm not just coming right out and saying that the military puts batteries instead of birds all I'm saying is that if they did, this is probably where they would keep their stockpile. And due to the recent budget cuts, this is how many batteries are left. There's about to be no more birds, guys. And I anticipate they're taking AAA they're AAA batteries. Up, and climate they're the tiny the ones. My remote control takes AAA's. A's. That makes shit. I don't know how long theirs last long, but mine don't last that long. Birds, guys. I'm shaking just thinking about this. So as I pulled up to my duty station today, guys, the birds were going off the hook, and as soon as I got out of my car, they stopped. I debunked that as just a case of what the fuck, but then I had to go back out to my car to get something else, and the same shit happened as I walked out of the building. And the crazy thing is, uh, I'm not people shaking, believe but this shit's got my nerves racked. Birds aren't real. <coughs> you hear me? And they all just shut up. They didn't do anything. That is so odd. That is creepy. (coughs) That is creepy. That is so creepy. The High School Musical trilogy takes place in a not-too-distant dystopian future where the Southwest is no longer part of the United States. Let me explain. Now, this is a continuation of the theory that High School Musical takes place in the same cinematic universe as The Purge, given Hmm. that there seems to be no social contract or subsequent legal system present throughout the three movies. But there's one very popular song in the second movie that doesn't just provide additional evidence to that one theory, but paints a really great picture of what the United States actually looks like at the time the series takes place. In the song Fabulous, Sharpay initially sings that she wants four very specific items. Iced tea imported from England, lifeguards imported from Spain, towels imported from Turkey, and turkey imported from Maine. If we're following standard definitions of U.S. trade and agriculture, in order for any item to be imported, as it would be from England, Spain, or Turkey, it has to come in from another country. And given the fact that High School Musical takes place in the and, metropolitan yeah, area of Albuquerque, America. New Mexico, it is hypothetically impossible for Turkey to be imported there from Maine, given that Maine is another state of the Union. 
Because of Sharpay's implication that Turkey <laughs> can somehow be imported from Maine to New Mexico, you can easily make the argument so that a high school musical takes war. place in a not too distant future or an alternate timeline where a second civil war has resulted in New Mexico and potentially other states in the Southwest seceding from the Union. This theory would That's explain the Turkey crazy. trading paradox. That is crazy. The lack of any kind of legal system, which is best exhibited by the labor conditions at Lava Springs and the fact that Darvis pretty much committed forgery to get Troy into Juilliard. <laughs> And the fact that the majority of the characters are white and English speaking, but never seen celebrating the Fourth of July. Wow! Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Also, Sharpay did nothing. Wow! Wrong. You, 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 no, I don't know. I, I far stretched, but you know, programmed, you know, preemptive programming is known for especially everything that we see on television these days, and you know, they preempt us for nine eleven and cartoons. They did for the virus too, as well, and movies and stuff like that. And it, 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 I don't know. High School Musical was in a future where the states aren't no longer the states. It's all divided. I, I could definitely see that. I mean, shit. Look at the way we're going now. And it divided is about what half we are, and that's exactly what they want. The reason why women women's fashion have little to no pockets in their clothing is due to the fact that the fashion industry would lose money from bag and purse sales. I've heard of that one before. I've heard of that one too. That's so true. This whole entire that time, made... they have been selling us <clears throat> butter. Now, doubtless, you're familiar with this brand. I can't believe, I can't it's, believe not it's not butter. Bullshit. Fabio. It is butter. And here's how we know. I can't believe it's not butter. Take the first letter of the first five words of that phrase, ik bin, and then the last word, butter. You get ik bin butter. And you know what you get when you translate that butter. from German? I'm butter. <laughs> Everybody's been eating butter and not even knowing about it. I believe it. I believe it is butter now, huh? I don't know hilarious. if people are going to believe me when I say this. It's, it's kind of, it's a tough pill to swallow. But I believe that 80% of the world are absolute idiots. <laughs> now, there's proof if you guys want to look it up. Just go on social media and go through TikTok and Instagram and you'll see um, that most people are just dumb. <coughs> it's so That's true, the one though. I, I mean, I don't mean to say it's true, but I guess I the perspective I think the that the you look at the it. minimum wage hasn't increased in decades is because the corporate elite and politicians are trying to see just how close to slavery you all get before Agreeable. you all tap out. And Agreeable. also in the process, helping you accrue so many debts so that when they offer you something like indentured servitude contracts, you'll take them as a way of erasing your debts. Now, I don't know if anybody has seen what she's talking about is basically, you know, you work for us to get these debts off and we'll repay your debts and something like that. We'll give you a, a, a certain amount of money, but you still got to work it off. But if you see in Ready Player One where she talks about how her dad had so many debts and he had to go to the state, she had to go to Iowa to work them off and he died there. And then we see all the pods where all these people are working off their debts because they're getting arrested for the debts they owe in society. That's exactly right. I, I can so feel that one. That is so true. And if you couldn't tell now with the freaking, you know, food shortage, price hikes of everything, oh, you know for sure. That the reason we still don't have universal health care in the U.S. is because they know that the second we all have access to health care, there will be a massive divorce movement and a massive quitting of shitty jobs. <laughs> That's true. We would quit a lot of shitty jobs. That What's so a conspiracy true. theory that you a thousand percent quit. believe in? <clears throat> so true. Religion was invented to control human beings and especially women. I agree on that, too. I definitely agree on that. You know, religion was based, on, you know, on a way to how to control the masses to follow certain codes and strict and stuff like that. But, ah, uh, but what did you think, man, about that? Which one is those conspiracy theories that rocked your world? And what's a conspiracy theory that uh, just gets you? You believe that you believe in so diehardly? You know, one for me that I would believe in, and so it's so crazy is. Um, I don't know. I, now that I think about it, I don't know. 
of just they say yeah, the government watches everything and it's it's so true we're, we're being tracked every minute of the day and you know i do believe that we're going to have some kind of stupid early evasion but it, it that's just mine it, it is crazy that way but man once again thank you for the love and support man thank you for the thousand plus y'all are amazing y'all keep it going y'all keep hitting that thumbs up y'all keep hitting that subscribe share and do what we do let's get the message out and man please keep your mind open because those eyes <laughs> will definitely see and hear everything in front of you y'all stay crazy I'm going to hang up this phone and then i'm going to show these people what you don't want them to see i'm going to show them a world without you a world without rules and controls without borders or boundaries a world where anything is possible where we go from there is a choice i leave to you <laughs>